Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Tool On. We have a cool little thing today. I'm hoping it's not a gimmick, but I was taking a stroll around the good old Lowe's and I found that Crescent has come out with a new tool. This right here, specifically this right here, this is the new Crescent Vortex. And what this is supposed to do, it has a dual impacting zone and it's supposed to make your bits, you know, these little guys right here, last, I'm not joking, 500 times longer. That's what they're advertising. It makes it last 500 times longer. So, with that being said, um, I, I kind of find that hard to believe, so we're going to find out if this is a gimmick or not. We're going to put it through a few tests today. First, we're going to use a straight up uh, little drywall screw. This is two inches. And then we're going to go ahead and use a three inch. This is a coarse screw. And then we're going to go to a three and a half. And then we're going to see if it really does transfer the power. So this is a 5 inch little lag. It's nothing big. It's more like a spack screw if anything else. Um, and I'm going to use a couple different uh, head. Well, actually, you know what? I was going to use a DeWalt, but these are the best bits that I have. And if this range true, then we're going to have to use the cheapest bits that I've ever bought and the worst bits I've ever bought. These are the Warrior pH2 bits from the good old Harbor Freight. So uh, let's go ahead and start. Oh, first, uh, you almost got me. I almost forgot. I'm not going to use only one brand, but I'm going to use Craftsman, and this is just the drill driver. I'm going to use uh, this is the Porter Cable. This is the impact driver. I'm going to use Ryobi. This is another impact driver. And then I'm going to use Cobalt as another drill driver just to get a, a good you know, view a broad spectrum of how they perform with different brands. I'm not expecting it to perform any different, but hey, we've all been surprised one time or another, so let's just pull over the testing bench and get to it. First up, we're going to use the Ryobi here. I'm going to put the power setting on two because that's what I'm more comfortable with this small type of fastener. Okay, that did just fine. Let's grab the Porter Cable. Okay, that did just fine. Let's get a drill driver. Let's go ahead and get the uh, Craftsman. Okay, that did just fine. Last one is cobalt. Ooh, that one started to skip. Uh, this was on speed one, and that did start to skip, and I can see a little bit of issues there. So, okay, now we're going to try a three inch. Get it started. Ooh. Oh, that, that skipped absolutely terribly. That was another three and a half inch. Here we go. Or just three inch. All right, that got kind of messy too. Sink a three and a half inch here. That did fine there. Now this is rated to be with impacts, but you can use it with anything. So I want to give you a good spectrum here. All right, now I'm on level the highest setting for the Ryobi. Let's get it started. Okay, so it didn't skip there, which is that's really nice. All right, now that we have this out, let's continue it. Let's do the four inch. I hate four inches. I hate these. Here we go. Okay, that did a surprisingly good job.
Porter cable. That did a surprisingly good job. Putting this on setting one now for the power. Okay, this bit's kind of getting toasted. Okay, it was skipping pretty bad. That doesn't look too bad though. And this does, and the tip doesn't look too bad. It's not great, but you know, it's not terrible. We need to go ahead and drive the bigger fastener, so we'll put our drive in here. And just for this, I'm going to stick with the impacts to drive this in. Setting three Ryobi. Okay, that was interesting. Let's take this off. Let's do it. Let's do it without this. This is really, this is warm. Ooh, so that's doing some work in there. There's got some friction in there. Let's take this off. Let's do it. Let's do it without it to see if there's any difference. I'll do a side by side for this. Three, two, one. Okay, so something I'm noticing that this was much faster. Obviously, there's less deflection, so you would hope that you would get more impact and more force in there. Um, but this is doing some work, uh, and this has some type of dual impact zone as well, so it'd be interesting uh, to see just how that does. Now, what we want to do is drive a couple four inch screws with just the bit. Okay, just for fairness, I'm going to go ahead and take a brand new bit in order to uh, do this test so you can see this is brand new. We've got our screw. Get it started, and here we go. Okay, that worked just fine. Let's uh, get this old one out. Let's put it in here, and we'll try it in this one. So the Porter Cable has 1,800 inch-pounds of torque. Uh, let's see how it does here. Okay, eh, yeah, it did all right. It did all right without it. All right, let's go ahead and try the Cobalt. I am expecting uh, this to skip out and probably cam this the first time we go. So here we go, three, two, one. It did just fine. Uh, so that was very that was interesting. Uh, so you know, it's, it's kind of interesting. Uh, do I think that the Vortex did anything? Yeah, I'm not really sure. Um, I think whenever you add a little bit more room for deflection, um, it does give you a little bit more room for slipping of the bit. And by that is the longer the bit, uh, whatever that is, or the more connections, you know, the more time it can power rob from a tool itself, from impacts, um, or for even, uh, you know, even typical drill drivers. But uh, this is pretty warm, so it was doing something. I'm just not sure exactly what that was. Um, and I just want to show you here. See that there is some movement there. So that little bit of play can mean a lot when you're drilling in a four inch screw um, because it's going to give you that deflection, which is not going to give you, you know, as rigid um, of a grip as what you wanted. So do I think this is worth it? I think the jury's out. I think I did better without the Vortex than I did with the Vortex. Do I think it's going to make the bit last longer? No, simply because of the play that's in here and the deflection that you're going to get. I think it's going to throw it off just a little bit. So, anyways, everybody, you know the drill. I hope that you liked the video. I hope that you got something very useful out of this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And, hey, we'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.